Guten Tag! Welcome back to my space! And if it is your first time here, welcome aboard! Today we are going to talk about self-image or what we perceive to be in particular in relation to our bodies. One thought that Moji tells us about in one of his recent videos inspired me. He says, you are not the consciousness trapped in this body. Your body is actually inside of your consciousness. With that in mind, let's get down to business. On a previous video, I was telling you that what we are, it is not the body or the mind and that they are instruments to experience life. So we can already cross that out when we think of our self-image. Easy to say, a little less easy to do. What was the first way to perceive ourselves when we were children? As far as I can remember, it was by the words that other people were saying about my physique. Oh, you're so cute! Take that little chubby girl! Hey you, four-eyed cooker! And by looking in the mirror. Getting my body dressed up in a certain way, combing my hair and later in life putting makeup on so I can look as a normal human being. Wait, what? There is another path we will not go on to today, but we use normal now as in a certain behavior or appearance that was previously considered by the society to be generally accepted and in everybody's advantage. At least the intentions were good. So while looking in the mirror and making sure that I show up, in the outside world, according to the rules of normality, you know what happens? I start to see myself through the eyes of the society, going around without previously combing my hair. Even if it is in my own home, seems to be something unacceptable and it literally influences the way I feel about myself. Please note, but what I'm saying here is not that self-care and hygiene aren't important. On the contrary, but when we are taught that we should take care of how our bodies look on the outside, what the other people might say and think shouldn't be the lens we should be watching through. Early in our lives, we see that all the people around us are judging everything for either pretty or ugly, good or bad, right or wrong, and we learn to do the same. And actually what ugly means or what wrong is was never initially my own idea. I just learned it from somebody else, from people, TV and magazines. For such a long time, through the school, adolescence and even through my 20s, I moved on with my life, determining my self-image through the body that the eyes of the other people saw, having a good time and confidence when my physical appearance was appreciated, or the opposite when not. Yeah, I adopted the way that other people see and judge my physique as my own opinion about myself. And if what I am, it is not my body, then this way of perceiving myself was so far from being the truth. One of the good habits that this pandemic helped me develop was going outside without makeup. Before 2020, except for when going to the beach, there wasn't a single time I would go in a public space without wearing makeup. I know at least one more person that can relate to that. And for sure there are more. 
Why was I even thinking that I will be more of a pleasant presence just for the fact that there is more color on my cheeks and my eyes are more defined? Because somewhere deep inside me, I believe that it is normal. This is what a woman should do. As soon as the need to wear a mask when being in public and having half of my face covered, it became clear to me that this idea was so silly. A belief that I have been carrying around in my subconscious for so many years. Now, taking good care of my physique, it is a part of how I see myself, but through a totally new perspective. Being fit and healthy, having a good sleep, and being able to experience life through all my senses. That sounds like the right way of picturing my body, keeping constantly in mind that I'm here to use it at its best potential and with the right purposes. In conclusion, my self-image is not defined by the body I find myself in, but the way I use it impacts how I feel about myself. The best you can do is to be grateful for it because it is a gift anyway, in my opinion. Don't you agree? If you tell me that I'm beautiful, I will tell you to say this to my parents. They are the ones who decided to have me, and even they did not have much of an influence regarding my or their physical appearance, other than trusting the nature and using it at its best. My parents, you mean? Mine, yours, all parents. Yeah, I didn't do anything to earn it. At least not that I know of, but you can be sure I'll be using it best I can. As always, hope you are having a good time exploring ideas with me. The link to Moji's video I told you about at the beginning can be found in the description box. Like and comment if you feel the urge to do it. Enjoy your physique for the rest of the day. Come back soon, I'll be here. German say tschüss Nowadays I only wear makeup just for fun and variety as long as we have these possibilities to play and create more shapes of ourselves let's call it like this why not use them? Relax! Take it easy. There's always music in my head. I don't know from where it's coming. Is it in your head too? <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo.